Hi guys, welcome to this episode of our podcast. Happy Sunday and I'm so pleased that you've joined me here today. I hope you've all had a great week, you're all well and you're all in good spirits. So what I wanted to talk about today is something that really follows on from what I spoke about last week. So last week I went through, you know, saying no and why the importance of being able to say no, but also kind of the opportunities that it opens up for you when you do learn how to say no. And it's something that I found really difficult in the past. And so I was just sharing with you a few of the things that I found have helped me. And so if that's something that interests you, then that was last week's podcast episode. So you can go and have a look at that one. But what I wanted to do today, like I said, it does follow on from that, is about this mysterious thing called balance. We talk about balance all the time and we all say how important it is to have balance in our lives. And you hear people talk about, you know, how to get a good work-life balance or how to get a good balance at home, those kind of things. And I think there's kind of many layers to what it means to have balance. And I think a good example of that is like when you look at work-life balance. So yes, you do want to have a good work-life balance, but then even between your, if you're looking at the life part of work-life, how do you get a good balance in your life part? And actually that's quite an important part because that's all the time that you get to spend doing the things that you really want to do, you need to do. Um, so how do we get a good balance there? So again, I just wanted to share with you some of the thought processes that I have around balance because it's something that I have no, I am nowhere near saying that I have got a good balance. And I think um, I do sometimes wonder to myself, does anyone actually have a balance or is it this kind of mysterious thing that we all kind of want and we all kind of work towards, but no one actually has it? Um, and I also think that, you know, balance can balance can change and what it means for you to kind of be in balance may change as well. And I've definitely found that over the time at different points, you need different things and then that balance shifts. And sometimes, you know, if you're working really hard on something, then you may tip the balance towards, say, like your work or your self-development or something like that. But then you have to almost rebalance because then you can only do that for so long before you actually need something different. So again, some of the um, the thought processes that um, that I've gone through is actually to think to myself, OK, this is going to sound really obvious, but you need to prioritise, you know, um, when you're trying to get a balance. It's hard to have everything. And I'm not saying that we shouldn't try and have everything. And that's definitely not what I'm saying, because I'm definitely trying to get a balance where I can have everything that I want to have within my balance is within my balance. But I think it's more of the case of thinking about what it is that you really want and some of the things that you do, some of the things that you add into your your mix that you are trying to balance. Are those things actually things that you really want to have in that mix or are they just taking up valuable time and valuable headspace? Um, so I think that's one of the things that I think about is like, do I actually really want to do this or is it something that, you know, I feel like I, I should be doing or society maybe um, has a bit of an impact and mean that we want to do these things. Um, so that's one of the things that I've, I've really been thinking about is, you know, prioritise some things, you know, am I just doing them because they're habits or just doing them because I think, you know, I should be doing them rather than things that I want to be doing and things that I actually, I actually should be doing. So um, that was the first thing. The second thing was actually sometimes you just have to let things go. You know, we can spend so much of our time kind of picking at things and or you know getting frustrated about certain things and stuff like that and I feel like that really impacts on the balance that I have so I really need to learn you know to to let things go and I think it's such a it's such a big thing and any of you that are in kind of relationships or have children or something like that then um you will definitely know or even work in teams with people I'm sure we all have this sometimes you can you can yeah spend a lot of time picking on things or somebody else can spend a lot of time picking on something that you do but actually there are certain things we should all just let them go because they're not a big deal they don't matter and actually then that frees up time and headspace and things like that that we can then put into make getting the balance that we want to have so those are the first two things you know prioritize what is it that you actually want to have in your balance and I'm not sure that we actually spend too much time thinking about that so I think by doing that more consciously then I think that can help us get a balance I've certainly found that the second one is yep let things go definitely need to do that and the third one is actually you know 
we can sometimes work so hard perfecting things. I know I'm, I definitely do that. I can be a perfectionist at some point and I will spend kind of a disproportionate amount of time on say like the last 5% of something to make sure it's perfect. And I think to myself afterwards, mm, was that really, was that really worth it? You know, because when we, when we do that, when we put that effort in and if it is a disproportionate effort and actually it doesn't make a big difference and that is time and energy and headspace that we could then be doing on other things to try and get that, to get that balance. And I think there are some things obviously that we need to be <laughs> a perfectionist on and we need to kind of make sure that we get it to 100%. But on those things that we don't, then, you know, does it really matter? And um, I think a big one for me with this is housework. Housework obviously has to get done. We all have to do our laundry, we all have to wash our dishes and all of those kind of things, hoover and dust and, and stuff like that. But I'm a big believer when it comes to kind of housework. It needs to be done good. It needs to be done to a really high standard. But actually, is that that last little like 5% where, you know what, I'm going to get it done, but I do not need to be a perfectionist about this. Um, and we, I just feel like, you know, housework is one of those things, yeah, like I said, needs to be done, definitely need to do it, but really we don't want to be doing, and I'm sure there are more valuable things that we want to be doing with our time, unless, unless of course you love, <laughs> you love doing your housework, and if that's the case, then give me a call and I'll definitely um, <laughs> let you come and do some of mine. But, so yeah, whatever it is for you, I think it's, you know, there's um there's a great thing like this 80 20 rule you know you get like 80 percent there and that's kind of like the the big thing that you should be doing and the other kind of 20 percent you shouldn't really be be spending that much of your time on and i really feel like that kind of for me it's about not being a perfectionist i think that can make such a difference and i feel like when for me personally when i did put all of these things together and i do them consciously then it can really impact on how balanced I feel in terms of what I'm trying to do um, but yeah so I really hope that you found you found that useful thank you so much for joining me and if you have any tips then I'd love to hear them drop them in the comments message me email me um, find us on social media it would be great to hear from you um, and until next week I really hope that you are well you take care of yourself take care of each other and be happy and healthy and guys until next week you take care okay bye